In this video, I'm going to talk about Venn diagram, which is very much used in uh, probability and calculating uh, uh, probability. Okay, so let's take an example to uh, show what is Venn diagram. Okay, so let us take say counting numbers or natural numbers from 1 to 20. So that set I will call is the is the sample space or the universal set. So let us say the sample space. Let us say the sample space is from 1 to 20. So this is a set of numbers from 1 to 20. Okay, and uh, let us describe, let us make up two sets or two uh, events. Suppose A is a set of multiples of 2, set of multiples of 2, multiples of 2. So which are the multiples of 2? So they are 2, 4, 6, 8, up to 20. Okay. B, we are de describing or defining as the set of multiples of 3. So the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 15, and 18. Okay. So let us draw this. Okay. So what will, what are the common elements of uh, set A and B, which is written as A intersection B? Now this upside down U stands for intersection. Now this intersection stands for the common elements of a and B. So which are the common elements of A and B? So let me underline. So there are 6. 6 is common. Then you have 12. And then you have 18. So the common elements of A and B are 6, 12, and 18. So let us draw this uh, in a Venn diagram. And a Venn diagram generally you have a rectangle which is the sample space or the universal set so uh, and let me draw the two circles first so this is my uh, compass so i'm going to draw two circles so let me change the color and uh, okay so this is one circle for set a and let me move this and uh, and draw another circle so this is set b okay so let us delete that so this is one this is set a and this is set b and we'll have to draw a rectangle which represents the universal set okay so this is your sample space so first, when you're drawing the Venn diagram, it's always good to write the common elements of A and B. So the common elements of A and B are 6, 12, and 18. So I'll write 6, 12, 18. Now this is, this area is common for A and B. That's why we write 6, 12, 18, yeah. And then we write the remaining elements of A. So the remaining elements of A are 2, 4, you don't write 6, so it's already there, 8, then you have 12, 10, you don't write 12, you've got 14, then 16, you don't write 18 and 20. So for set B, we will start with 3, you don't write 6, you've got 9, you don't write 12, you've got 15, you don't write 18. So these are the elements of A and B. Okay, which are the elements which are not in A and B? The elements which are not in A and B are the elements which are in the sample space. So this is called sample space, say, U. Let us call this the universal set. So we'll name this U. This is a universal set. So the numbers which are not in A and B but in the sample space are 1, 2 has already come, you've got 5, uh, then you've got 7, 11, 13, 
17 and 19. So let us check whether we have written all the numbers from 1 to 20. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I think you can see. So all these are the elements of the sample space. Now, the question can be, what is the probability, suppose probability of a random number, a number to be to be a multiple a multiple of of two. So what's the probability of a number to be a multiple of two? So yeah, uh, you can the multiples of two you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, which is 10 out of 20, which is 0 0.5. Uh, but if the question is, what's the probability that a random number is a multiple of multiple of 2 but not 3 but not 3 then in this situation uh, uh, these are only the numbers that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so it is 7 out of 20 which is 35 out of 100 I'm multiplying both the numerator and new denominator by 5, which is 0 0.35. Now, if the question is, what is the probability? What's the probability that the number is a multiple of multiple of 2 and 3? Multiple of 2 and 3. Of course, we are talking about <coughs> this situation where the sample space is from 1 to 20. So this cannot be an answer for all situations. This is only for this specific situation. For this situation, the probability that a random number is a multiple of 2 and 3 if the sample space is from 1 to 20 is, you got 3 numbers, so that is 3 out of 20, which is multiplied by 5, both the numbers, which is 15 out of 100, and that is... 0.15. So if the question is, what is the probability that the number is not a multiple, is not a multiple of multiple of 2 and 3? So which are the numbers which are not the multiples of 2 and 3? These are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that is again 7 out of 20, which is same as 35 out of 100, which is also 0 0.35. So just, now if you want to write the probabilities in this place, uh, let me use a different color. The probability of these situations, so the probability of this area of these numbers is 0 0.35. The probability of these numbers is, again, we saw it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 0 0.35, and this is say, 3 out of 20, which is 0 0.15, so this is 0 0.15. So how will you describe these numbers? These are the numbers uh, between uh, from 1 to 20, which are multiples of 3, but not of which would be, uh, again, 3 out of 20, which is 0 0.15. And the interesting fact is, if you add all these probabilities, it should be 1, because the probability of all the events should be 1. Okay, so that is 0 0.35 plus 0 0.35 plus 0 0.15 plus 0. 1, 5. So this is 5, 10, 15, 20, 2 remainder, 2, 5, 8, 9, 10, remainder 1. So the total probability is 1 year. 
So, and one very interesting fact or very interesting formula about this diagram is, let me delete this. If the probability, this is a very important rule which we'll be using, I'll be using in the next videos. The probability of A union B, the probability of A union B means talking about this area. If I'm talking about this area, this is the probability of a number. When you say A union B, it's probability of a number to be a multiple of 3, 2, and 3. It would be probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Now, this is a very simple rule to remember. What we are saying is the probability of A union B, that is probability of A or B. So this total area, in other words, is this the area of A plus the area of B. Now if you add the area of A and if you add the area of B, this area you are adding twice. This area, this, let me use a different color. This area, if you add probability of A, plus probability of B, you will be adding this area twice. So, if you want to find the total of this area plus this area, you add the probability of this A and the probability of B, and then you take away this probability 1. So, this area is very crucial, is A intersection B. And the total area is A union B.